The dismissal of a high-ranking official like Bo Xilai is unusual in today's China. There really hasn't been anything like it since the late 1980s, after the trauma of the Tiananmen massacre split the Communist Party. But back in those days, the party had complete control over information. And today, it fell back on old habits in the Bo Xilai affair. The official news agency Xinhua issued a terse three-sentence statement saying that Bo had stepped down. And that was pretty much the extent of the coverage. But China's social media has been lighting up with commentary and opinion. Link Asia's Annie Fu tells us more. State media response to the Bo Xilai incident was muted as if waiting for instruction on how to approach the sensitive topic. Chinese Vice Premier Zhang Dejiang has been appointed as a party chief of Chongqing municipality. Now, according to a report from Xinhua News Agency, Zhang is replacing Bo Xilai, but he will keep his vice partner premiership. In contrast, social media response to the firing was outspoken and intense. Here, outrage from a lawyer in Beijing. It's like kids playing house. Only a few factions decide who's leader. It's got nothing to do with rule of law, democracy, and the everyday person. A Sina Weibo user from Chongqing expressed anxiety, saying, I'm not lying at all when I tell you that the moment I read the news on Bo's dismissal, the whole department fell silent for half a minute. Then pretty much everyone wondered, what will happen to Chongqing now? The Chongqing model has greatly benefited Chongqingers. Bo Xilai was credited with renewing Chongqing with his crackdown on corruption and gangs. This user says, Bo is out. The happiest are the gangsters. All the country's gangsters will be out drinking and celebrating the night away. Bo also revived policies that were reminiscent of the Cultural Revolution. This user says it was the Chongqing Cultural Revolution that enabled the people to trust government, that let the masses get along harmoniously, that let ordinary people walk the streets safely. But not everyone from Chongqing was a fan of Bo and his tactics. Chongqing people no longer have to reluctantly sing red songs. Communist Party, good for you. All in all, though, people were supportive of Bo and were sad to see him go. When I saw the picture of Bo Xilai tearing up during the closing ceremony of the NPC this year, my heart ached. A good official who dared to do good things, honest things, but ended up losing his job. Communist Party, what do you really want? And that's the question that everybody's asking now. I'm Annie Fu for Link Asia. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.